Number 66. An experiment in a general chemistry laboratory calls for a 2.00 molar solution of HCl. How many milliliters of 11.9 molar HCl solution would be required to make 250 milliliters of 2.00 molar solution of HCl? Okay, so let's see. They're asking for, if I had to read this over again and I had to find out what the question was, they're asking for how many milliliters of a certain molar solution would be required to make a 250 milliliter solution of two molar. Now, it looks like I'm taking a really, really super concentrated amount of HCl and I'm bringing it down to a, a lower molarity of HCl. Right? I'm taking the 11.9 molarity of HCl and I'm bringing it down to uh, 2. Now, how do we bring down molarity values, right? There's only one way, especially if it's the same compound, right? All you got to do is just add water, right? So I had to have taken this and added water to turn it into only a two molar solution. And that's not as concentrated. So what's the fancy word for saying we're adding water to something? Starts with a D. It's a dilution. Anytime that you're adding water to a solution, you're diluting the solution. I'm adding more and more and more water so that the molarity number decreases. So as you are decreasing your molarity, you're increasing the amount of water that you're adding or the volume of the solution. So it's like an inverse relationship. The formula for our dilution is this guy, right? If you've been with us and you've been on the playlist, uh, we've done this formula before, right? It's the dilution formula. It's M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. Now I just gotta pick the pairs, right? There was a, a molarity and a volume that were together, and that equals the molarity and the corresponding volume after the dilution. So if they're saying that we have a volume of a certain molarity, these two numbers correlate with each other. They, they're together, they're a pair. So I know that if I want to make a two a molar solution, I need to have 250 mils. Now that's gonna go on one side of the equal sign. Does it really matter what side? No, the math is still gonna be the same and you're gonna get the same answer. Usually I like to work from left to right, but let's, let's go backwards, right? I just wanna show you that it doesn't matter where you put it, you're still gonna get the same answer. So I'm gonna put my units on this side. So I'm gonna say that this molarity is 2.00 and that that volume is 250 mils. Okay, now I just gotta find out the other numbers for the other side. Well, let's see. It said how many mils, there it is again, of 11.9 molarity. Do you see how it's like in the same exact way? That means that this is also a pair. They didn't put a number here because that's what the question's asking for, right? But do you see how it's literally a volume of a molarity? A volume of a molarity? So that's my other pair. The other molarity is going to be 11.9 molarity, and they're asking for how many mils. So I'm going to label that as X. So let's see. We have our numbers. We have our X value. Let's plug in. 11.9 times X equals 2.00 times 250. Now, you might be saying, well, Christina, wait, we have mils here, right? With the dilution formula, you can enter any unit for a volume with, with liters. It could be in milliliters. It could be in liters. It doesn't matter. With the dilution formula, the only thing that matters is that the units on both sides match. So molarity goes with molarity, check. If you leave this as milliliters, what do you think the unit is going to be for this volume? Milliliters. There you go. Now let's get back to 
what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for x, so we're dividing by 11.9, and we divide by 11.9, and we cancel that out. So let's just do the math. x equals, let's see, 2 times 250 divided by 11.9. Let's see, if I had to say how many sig figs we need, we need a total of two sig figs uh, because this answer has two sig figs in it, and that's the lowest number of sig figs in the problem. So my answer should only have two sig figs. So we have 42 milliliters. So to basically sum this all up into what we actually had to do in a chemistry lab, right? And remember, 42 mils is over here, right? 42 mils. That corresponds with the concentrated solution. So I know that with my concentration, to, my concentrated solution, my 11.9 molarity, I had to have poured 42 mils of this solution in a cup. If the final solution that I want is 250 mils, right? and I'm adding water, how do I get the difference between these two numbers? Yeah, all I'm doing is I'm adding water. So technically, if you wanted to find out how much water you actually added, you just subtract the two. 250 minus 42, uh, 250 minus 42 is 208. So you actually had to add 208 mils of water. Sometimes they ask that as a question. So just know the difference, guys. This is how many mils of the actual solution you needed. So this is the final answer to this problem. But sometimes questions will say, how many mils of water should you have added? In this case, you would have put the 208 mils. So just know the difference, guys, okay? But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, do all those cool things. And I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Let's keep studying. Let's keep learning. And let's keep working hard. Okay? You guys got this. I believe in you. I'm rooting for you guys on those quizzes and tests. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.